This is Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, if you're unaware, uh, the president is in the process of being impeached in the House and will be referred to the Senate for indictment. And then after that, if the Senate uh, approves or votes in favor of the indictment, and then the judicial courts are going to have a field day with like billions of lawsuits against Trump. Uh, what's interesting to watch is uh, Republicans. They're fighting and trying to be loyal to Trump. Trump confessed to crimes the whole time, even from the campaign. Russia, if you're listening, that's a crime. You can't do that. He did it. He got into the presidency thanks to Russia and Facebook and Cambridge Analytica and, and Comey. And, uh, and so what we're dealing with now is whether Republicans are going to reveal themselves or are they going to put America first. Ooh, I used a Trump line which is a white supremacist KKK slogan. Um, <laughs> but we get to uh, watch as they uh, are going to be either hypocritical to that white supremacist line or if they're going to actually be true in the literal sense uh, to America as a nation. Not America as a white supremacist nation. And uh, uh, tomorrow is just a vote for the process. It is not a vote to impeach. Uh, when we get to the vote to impeach, pay close attention as to who refuses to impeach Trump. Uh, treason is defined in the Constitution as giving aid and comfort to the enemy. The enemy is Russia. Trump is getting impeached for giving aid and comfort to Russia through Ukraine in this particular instance. But the Mueller report also was involved with uh, giving aid and comfort to Russia. And so uh, Trump this whole time, uh, even Russia if you're listening, was giving aid and comfort to Russia. He has committed treason against America. And so watch uh, who agrees with giving aid and comfort to Russia in Congress. And so with the uh, House, uh, pay close attention to who in the Republican Party are aiding and giving comfort to our enemy by voting no. And then watch in the Senate for the indictment. Watch very carefully which senators refuse to indict a treasonous president. Because that's what this is about. This is treason against America. This isn't about his personality or any of the technical squabbles of, well, he's not a Democrat, and so the Democrats are after him. No, it's none of that. This is about treason against America. Uh, they're not covering it on MSNBC, but that's what it is. This is about treason, a president committing treason against America. So pay close attention to who is a patriot and who is a traitor, along with Trump. Uh, we have already seen the antics of certain uh, congressmen, uh, Nunes, is uh, one of the older ones who have been fooling around in obstructing justice, thus giving aid and comfort to our enemy. Uh, and it's those simple things. Even Utah Senator Orrin Hatch with the tax bill, which gave aid and comfort to our enemy. The, uh, the uh, uh, Senate uh, vote to uh, release sanctions on the indicted oligarch, Russian oligarch, his businesses, there were Mitt Romney voted to lift those sanctions. Oops, Mitt Romney committed treason. Uh, and so 
this this is a matter of of uh, national urgency. We're in a a real crisis. Uh, this isn't some political game show, you know, where you get to cheer the bad guy, like in a movie. You know, this is our lives, uh, and yeah, I'm not happy about Democrats sweeping. Because if you remember World War II, it was about communism versus Nazism. Nazism was sweeping through Europe to build a border wall against Russia. And Nazis lost. And then as a result, communism swept the world. And we know communism is no good either. As we can witness China as it's attacking Hong Kong. Uh, uh, the whole concept of communism denies people property. It enslaves us to the government, uh, where we can't own our own property and we can't invent something that makes us wealthy. Uh, we have to s submit to the government uh, as it's all divided out equally. And uh, we don't want that either. Uh, but that's the situation we're in. We're repeating World War II, uh, where Trump represents the Nazis and Democrats represent communists. And uh, that's my fear, is that if uh, Trump fails uh, to, uh, to cause a civil war in this nation, to bring us to ash uh, as a divided nation, uh, that the Democrats will sweep the government and we will be full Democrat uh, throughout this nation as uh, states uh, will have to submit to the federal Democrats. That'll be interesting in Utah to see what goes on here because Utah is well known for opposing Democrats in uh, open rebellion. They're still practicing polygamy here. It's secret and, and the, uh, the Mormon church demands uh, no sexual relations, but they're still refusing to uh, cancel uh, uh, marriages of those who get divorced from civil law. So, yeah, that'll, it'll be interesting but scary because I live in Utah. Uh, so either way, I'm in big trouble living here in Utah. If Trump wins, and somehow pulls it off, uh, Utah will become full Nazi, uh, even more than they already are. Uh, if Trump uh, loses but destroys America, Utah will rise up as a Nazi independent state. And if the Democrats sweep, Utah will be a rebellion state. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to get ugly no matter how I look at it. So uh, pay close attention as to who are true Americans and who are traitors who are committing treason against America.